So I made a post on Reddit uh, like a week ago, and look at this. Look how awesome, how epic this is. Look at this. The steaming. So basically, I just steamed my laptop and my desktop on one PC here, and I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay, so I'm in a virtual machine, but that really does matter. So in your web browser, search up Cinema Mox Teams GitHub. And then we'll click on this link. Now for you guys who are using uh, Google, go, go to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, here is Cinema Mox GTK theme. Click on that, and then click on this right here. Or you guys can just go to the link down in my description. But yeah. Anyways, go to code, then download zip. So open up your downloads folder, and then right click on home, and then open up a new window. Uh, hit view, and then show hidden files. Go to themes, alright, cool. So open up the themes here, or the themes master, and then copy these stuff. Drag it up to the themes here, nice. So go to themes, then advanced settings. Then go to applications, Cinemax Rhino. And icons should be Numix Circle, and then your, your desktop should also be Cinemax Rhino. There we go. Right click the panel, and then panel settings, and then change the panel height to like 44. Also, put the red zone to like 22. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna change my wallpaper, so right click, then set as wallpaper. You're nice. Speeding up the wallpaper or desktop, right click on it. Then customize, then desktop settings, then uncheck the mounted drives, then check trash. There it is right there. Now in your web browser, search up Linux Mint Blue Wallpaper. And then, oh, okay, it's right here. Okay, download this. This wallpaper, you will only be seeing it at the login window. So, anyways, right click open the new window. So now type in user share backgrounds now right click and open it as root and then drag your image to the, the backgrounds here now search up login window and then your backgrounds select the image here it is okay then uncheck draw user backgrounds and yeah there we go and yeah that's how i do it uh, it's pretty looking pretty nice so far Okay, I'm in a virtual machine again, and I'm using Kubuntu. Now get your popcorn ready, guys, because this is gonna take this is gonna take a while. Anyways, go to system settings. Uh, oh my gosh, the brightness. I go to appearance. And your, your global theme. Uh, get new global themes here. And search up Layan. Then uh, download the uh, one here in the bottom. Okay, it will ask you to like type in your password. But anyways, uh, use the Layan theme. There we go. Now your web browser first up lightly theme KD. Now click on the GitHub page. So here it is, nice. Now go to the bottom to the menu install. So I'm gonna just gonna copy and paste. So Ubuntu, paste that in there. Okay, after that's gonna go uh, scroll down here to build and install, and then just copy and paste it. Alright, cool. Now in your application style, there should be Layon right here. Then apply it. Click on the pencil icon and then click on transparency and then change uh, all this to opaque. In your windows decorations, uh, get new windows decorations and then search up lavanda or lavanda. Install this, then use it or, or use the dark one. Okay, uh, go to your tire bar buttons and then drag this down and then drag this up keep above other windows okay uh, in your firefox web browser it doesn't have it uh, yet because this is indeed a snap package so we're going to install the firefox flat pack version uh, thanks to this youtuber here we're going to do just that open up your terminal and copy these stuff from uh, here to the terminal Alright, 
So in this video, we're going to go to sudo nano dash etc dash apt dash preferences dot d then 80 dash mozilla team dash ppa paste this command in control s to save and then control x to leave it and then sudo apt auto remove snap d hit y Okay, as you can see, it's not there. So, anyways, uh, sudo apt install Firefox. Then hit Y. Okay, I accidentally exit out the virtual machine. Anyways, anyways, search out Firefox, and I think it's right here. Yes, I got their favorites. Okay, so we have the flat pack version. And there we go. Now search up Sagoi UI fonts I go to this link here and then download the font also speaking of firefox um change this to the edge for fox theme I'll click on this link i'll leave everything in the description yeah press on code download zip go to about support open the directory here and open the zip the instructions are on the github page by the way but anyways drag in chrome and drag in user.js then restart Firefox and there we go new theme okay anyways we're going to extract the font uh, here there we go now in font management click on the install from file then their downloads and then the fonts then install it system wide there we go close the windows then go to fonts adjust all fonts fonts then so go UI regular uh, size 10 apply it now your icons get new icons and then papyrus I'll show how it's read first obviously then okay here install the papyrus font install this one then use it there we go then cursors breeze light now search up a uh, login screen then change it to Leon and then search up screen locking configure uncheck the media controls and then add your anime wallpaper add image then uh, the anime wallpaper that you downloaded then apply it it should appear when you lock it there we go nice in your dolphin farm manager click on this uh, icon configure configure toolbars and then add refresh copy and paste move it up here to a separator and also add another separator at the paste so there it should be like this okay and it should be right here set to the details view mode then set the zoom to 22 also set our anime wallpaper too Right click, add widgets, and then add the trash can to our uh, desktop. Uh, unpin settings, then pin the terminal to the taskbar. Right click taskbar, and then click on configure icons only task manager. Uncheck mark applications that play audio, then apply, and then your behavior settings, uh, check show task from current screen. Then okay that. Uh, right click to configure your digital clock. So show seconds. Then your time display as 24 hours. And your uh, custom date format, which is gonna be dd dot mmm capitalize dot y y y y. Then hit apply. In your calendar, check astronomical events and holidays. Um, I just want to, but that's it. Then your holidays. Um, enter your country. I'm in the United States. You apply right click your taskbar then add two spacers let's drag it up here i think delete the margin separator and then delete the pager your icon should be in the center anyways right click taskbar add widgets uh get new widgets then download uh, new widgets search up detail menu here it is in win 7 show 
desktop and saw that too and then saw the v13 version uh, right click the menu and then show alternatives and then click on detail menu and it should change here right click configure detail menu i change the icon to kubuntu show fairs first menu position center bottom apply ok there we go now go to edit mode again remove the peak at desktop then add the widgets uh, weather win 7 and then search let's move it here then search to the near the detail menu I'm just gonna configure the uh, weather update every 60 minutes and then your location I'm just gonna put Dallas appearance show temperature beside the widget icon then check wind pressure and humidity units the temp I just like it to be a Celsius I also like it to be uh, millibars here in the pressure and the wind speed knots apply then right click your taskbar to edit mode and then more options and then floating panel also make sure to restart your like desktop so that the the lightly theme would properly there we go look at that it's rounded now so yeah restart your desktop and it should look like this the icon should be rounded like this but yeah that's all there is to it um if you guys want subscribe but yeah i'll see you guys next time bye bye